Okay, so carrying on with our little tutorial series of using the thick wash in certain other areas we can use it. So we've shown about doing a winter camo. We've shown how the wash you can chip through it, you can wear through it, and generally just sort of make any type of wear and tear you like with that one. We've also showed, as you can see, just down under here, obviously doing some grime and dirt and various areas just on the bottom, just by neat spraying it onto your model, and away you go. But what we're gonna do now is show you how to do flicking. So obviously, you know, tracked vehicles course flicking up mud stuff like that spatter and those types of things so there's a couple of different ways we can do this uh, as in you can thicken this stuff up with a little bit of pigment which we'll show in a moment but for the minute we're going to show you how you can actually use it just to, on a toothbrush or with a normal brush just to flick some mud up against it and how it will stick and stay on there so for this one you've got various different colors in our range obviously from black right the way through to white all right with everything sort of in between so you can pick the colors you want so perhaps you would want it you know slightly different shade to what we used before so on this one obviously we've used grime around the bottom one which is sort of that earthy muddy type color but if you wanted a little bit more of a sort of red mud then we've got the brown obviously we've got the dark dirt which is a darker type of mud or of course you can mix one so you know you could lighten it up perhaps the mud if you wanted to do it so you can add a little bit of the white wash the light wash to obviously to the grime or to the mud whichever way you wanted to do it and that's the great thing remember you can mix all these washes together and they will have no problem at all just don't add anything else don't add acrylic paint to it or lacquer paint or enamel paint to it because you will kill the wash instantly all right so from this point of view what we've got just down in here is a little bit of a dish all right, we'll just move him out of the way. We've got an old toothbrush just for flicking this off, but you could use a normal brush and things. So to start with, what we're going to do is, I think we're going to come along with just a little bit of the actual dark dirt. So again, you can just give this a shake, wake this up a little bit, and then just to make it easy, we're just going to come in here and we're just going to put a little bit of a blob just down in the bottom. All right, so that's just down in there. And then you can keep a bit of kitchen roll handy because it can get quite messy this all right but there we go so we've got this down in here we're gonna just dunk our bristles down into this just a little bit so we've got a little bit on here all right and then literally we'll start on the rear and we'll work our way around we think all right so we've just move that out of the way so again a little bit tricky trying to show you at the angle and everything else so we just got this here and then all we're going to do is flick this up the back end so hopefully you can see it just flicking little bits up so to start with you know this is going to be quite uh you know obviously pretty gnarly and everything so we can just flick up these do nice little flicking motions and again you can build this up just all up the back end of it as if it's literally coming off the tracks and it's flicking it up all right and then obviously as this i put my hand in here we might be able to get the camera to lock there we go you can see as this dries it will lighten as well all right so don't worry about it too much it will lighten up so again we can just grab a little bit down in here and i'm just going to flip lots of it around the back here so a little bit on the brush not tons of it and you can build this up and build it up build it up and you can just use it for type of flicking type work on here so again just grab a little bit more we're literally just going to flick onto the sides all right flick onto the sides like this you can see how it just gives you that sort of different effect and then obviously we'll flick it down onto the wheels as well although the wheels we're going to come up with something a little bit different in a minute there we go and as i say it will dry it will dry obviously quite lighter color as well at the moment looking very very dark so again we we'll just pop the turret off just so i can grab this a little bit easier there we go a little bit of wash in here and the great thing about doing the sort of brush splatting like this is you can put pretty much as much as you you want and again just down in here all along the brush we've got to go to a, a wider angle here so again and then again we should pick up a little bit a little bit on the front as well just to give you a nice spattered type look to it all right so what we'll do is we'll let this dry 
and go on there. And what we'll do, we'll show you the next part of actually doing mud and, and spatter and stuff like that, and we'll thicken it up. So we'll leave that just out of the way. So same thing, we'll keep the brush because we might need that in a moment. All right, let's we'll clean our hands, literally. It goes everywhere, so let's clean the desk. <clears throat> okay, so if you wanted to make something a little bit thicker, just for argument's sake, so we've got some of the, the thick, dark dirt color down in here. We're gonna pop that down there and I'm gonna mix it just a little bit of the actual grime color as well. So we're just gonna come in down in here and we're gonna mix the two together. All right, then we're gonna take a little bit of the light earth type pigment. And then what we're going to do is, we're just gonna grab probably about a brush full, just down into here. And we're going to mix this all together. So obviously it's going to give us a different tone uh, because of the, the way this is. So if you don't mix it thoroughly, what will happen is you have quite a gravelly type thickness to it. So if you can see just down in here, moving that way, you can probably see it's actually looking quite gravelly. So you could use that. If you keep mixing it, obviously what happens is the pigment will dissolve into the clay and you end up with something a little bit nicer. All right, so we've got plenty of this on here. So then what we will do, we'll just move this out a little bit. So we've got this on the toothbrush and all we're gonna do now is just gonna rub this just down these tracks and onto these road wheels. And again, just gonna distress this all up a little bit. And if you wanted to, you can use the side of your brush and just as if it's been through some heavy duty mud. And this will dry onto said vehicle. And obviously we can distress it. So we're just gonna scrape it a little bit. <clears throat> and hopefully you can see now that's got a real heavy mud type look to it. And that will dry exactly how it is. All right, so we just do exactly the same for the other side. So we just load up again. Again, you can put this on with a brush. You don't have to do it this way. But you can see how thick and gooey it is on down in here in the back. Again. And we want it to be as random as possible. So again, just whipping over it with the brush does a great trick. Then we're gonna take a little bit of this and we're just gonna spatter some more of this around just so we've got different colors in texture. Yeah, I'm just going to grab a little bit here for these tracks. Down at the back. So again, <clears throat> we're just going to all over. And again, we can just brush it as well into these areas. You can see how thick it is. It's just sticking in that spoke. Again, just flicking, flicking, flicking. Right, just pick up a little bit more down in here. Again. And here we go. Again, just do a bit more spatting down the sides. All of these bits. And again, let's take a little bit to go off. But again, what will happen is because you've got a little bit of pigment in this now, the texture will stay. So hopefully you can see already this is drying and going through. So you can see I'm quite yucky. And again, the great thing with all of this, we just move this out of the way, is it literally just cleans up with water. So as you can see, just a normal bit of water, just down here on the surface. And it literally just turns back. So you could, if you wanted to, thin this up, but unfortunately what happens is you lose a little bit of the capabilities of this if you start to thin it. All right, so there we go. We're gonna put this on. Obviously you could dust pigments on on the top and everything else. So we just give this to clear the, the bench of all the spatter we've accumulated on this. 
All right, we'll just give this a couple of minutes just to dry and then we'll come back and we'll see what we got. Okay, so as you can see, pretty much dried. So hopefully you can see we've got that nice spatter going up the back as well. And again, it gives a nice three dimensional texture to it because there's clay in this. That's what it's actually going to do. It's going to actually provide you with a, a three dimensional type of weathering and different bits and pieces like that. And again, this is one of those things, you know, obviously we're just doing it in muds here, but if you wanted to, you could do equally with sands, you know, and anything else. And again, if you wanted to, you can mix the light pigment, uh, the light wash, sorry, with pigment to make any hue. Obviously the light will lighten it, but if you wanted to, you could mix it in with other colors and then just obviously spatter or go through or brush on or just airbrush on as well, whichever way you want to do it. So it does give you that ability to create any type of shade, mud, texture, whichever you want. So if you want to keep it as just light spattering, things like that, just use it neat out of the bottle. If you want to thicken it up, then you can use pigment. Any pigment will do it, but an earth pigment will work better because to be honest that's what these are made out of they're actually made out of earth pigments themselves so if you're using an earth pigment it'll work really really well if you're using a more of a synthetic oil based pigment things like that obviously you might get more of a trouble with it staining uh, and that can happen quite a lot if you stick to normal earth pigments they will wash away just as easy as obviously the clay washes will just down on here there we go hope that's helped so that's using the wash for doing sort of thicker jobs